गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स सत्याकाल आदाब नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स इन कंटिन्यूशन टू व्हाट आई हैड जस्ट सेड दिस वाज अनदर प्रेस ब्रीफ व्हिच आई हैड स्टेटेड बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली द मीडिया इज नाउ सो हैंगड अप अबाउट जस्ट हिंदू मुस्लिम एंड यू नो व्हाट नॉट टू बी सेड एंड वी स्मॉल यूट्यूबर्स और पीपल आर नॉट कवर्ड एट ऑल and people who are financially well off they come up to media and speak against us without the knowledge of anything in cantonments today i'll give you a very small data which all cantonments and how many cantonments were made when and what does it mean now let's talk of 1765 to 1800 only three cantonments had come up when the laws of the british took over the mazammat of the indian rulers this is that period from 1800 to 1836 add on 18 cantonments when laws were being made by the queen of england but finally the regulation powers were given to the governor general and in during this period that dacorian 130 uh, 179 of 1836 ggo comes now we'll talk of 1836 to 1864 during this period we had the 1836 ggo ending and the first cantonment act we had 14 uh, cantonments which came up now from 1864 to 1899 we had another 17 cantonments during this canton period no ggo was applicable and even the cantonment code was finally coming in now 1900 to 1947 so grants if had to be given either under the act or by the codes cantonment codes or the cla rules so these came in picture and we had various acts which were made earlier all being repealed 1947 and after we had five cantonments so this makes us a total of 62 originally it was barakpur and danapur and saint thomas mount which may be called pallivaram or i don't know vicinity of chennai made in 1765 with an area of 918 acres and an area of 2417 acres and having military boundary pillars this is very important one needs to understand that since 1765 or to be prize, precise 12th august 1765 when the britishers started governing the country up as partial sovereigns of the indian rulers till 1772 they stood forth as diwan and warring hasting period of 1772 and 85 was the period when the britishers made uh, their domains britishers made governor general orders called statutory laws under the queen of england pitts act 1784 which gave the powers or the new system of governance in india 1793 bengal decimal settlement regulation came in force and land so called bashai grants as per the order 1788 or non bashai grants as per the 1790 order had to be recognized by the regime that is now the british these regularization of old grants were converted to new grants and they had to be assessed with a public revenue or land revenue all old grants were held by the rulers or their intermediaries as revenue free grants or lucky raj lands so when cantonments were being made during this period of 1765 and 1800 the three cantonments must have had settlements as per the decennial settlement of 1800 so lands under these regulations once settled were then resumed or required these two words have to be connoted what is resumed and what is acquired the period of 1800 to 30 uh, 
prior to the GGO 179, we saw Army Regulation 1810 were made 18 cantonments plus the already made 3, 21 cants in total had to abide to the military regulations and were within the military boundary pillars. Let's presume all this. These revenue free grants or old grants had to be registered by the local collector under the Bengal Revenue Free Land Registration Act. And finally, all such lands was supposed to be assessed to a land revenue under the 1819 revenue, Land Revenue Act. So, there was an, another settlement took place that which is called the Bengal uh, Land Revenue Settlement. It happened in 1825, it even happened in 1828 when all these irregular old grants were resumed. By this period, all old grants must have been converted into new grants or all old grants must have been resumed. So now let's presume 1828 there was no old grant in this country. All old grants were converted into the third period was when GGO is made now till the making of the first cantonment act 1864. Another 14 cantonments came up now the tally comes up to 35 cantonments now. Once again, these cantonments would be in the military boundary pillar and had to abide to the army regulation of GGO 179 or 1832 or what all GGOs were there. So this still 1864, 35 cantonments we accept that they might have been. But here is the catch that PWD regulation of the army of 20, 1810 clearly speaks, extracts from a proceedings of the Governor General in Council, 6th August 1801. His Excellency in Council, however, thinks it's proper that uniformity should be preserved as much as possible in the principal lines of directions of the bungalow in their distance from one another and also in the dimensions of bungalow and his excellency in council desires that this may be addressed with reference also his formal orders that would like the honorable courts to understand finally the desire of uniformity of dimensions and direction was as per regulation 20 of 1810 of public works department pwd which clearly reads that all limits of cantonments and garrisons including military bazaars shall be marked in all cases under regulation 3 of 1809 under section 4 by the commander in chief so these 35 cantonments were bounded by this order of the governor general and it was told to the courts that every grant had to be uniform. So these three grants, field officers, captain and sub lieutenants were in, assigned to a particular area of 7,000, 12,000 and 22,500 square yards. But today, what is our sizes of the bungalow? Everybody can check into. Where is it written in the uh, army regulation? Section 1948. So we need to read all this. Where is it written that grants had to be of fixed size? Is Section 1979. All military stations made were within the military boundary pillar. And the annexation of cantonment boundary pillars had not even started. Read these regulation, army regulations. So the travesty begins here. That now from this period things would be in a varied situation. That the period from 1864, 1899 saw another 17 cans being made. Here the... <clears throat> Governor General order has no force within the additions of the cantonment boundary pillars along with the military boundary pillar. 
where is it written the cantonment boundary pillars are so distinctive from military boundary pillars that it is therefore desirable that they should not be formulated for the inclusion of such military lands in cantonments unless there is a good reason thereof as such procedure will not safeguard government rights as private as well as government land can be included in a cantonment and inclusion in cantonment is therefore no proof of government ownership the owner of the land you know the circular is there quartermaster journal order is very much there who's going to read all this who's going to actually work hard on all this in 1899 again there was a register maintained under section 268 which is called the register of private land why do we need these when we presume that there is no private land within the cantonment you know the britishers it's a fact they were gradually because these old grants had moved into their hand and from 1864 or let let's make it prior more of the british officers were never thinking that india would pick up independence so fast and it actually started after the third, second and third round table conference and there is where the cla rules were in flux but what did the britishers write in the glr old grant why they were making that glr in 1925 they could have clearly written no we are not old grants we are grants or we are army grants or we are a grant under gjo 179 they didn't write this or gjo 1832 or 1838 it's a simple matter don't write that suffix old grant write i am a grant under gjo 179 why take an admission deed from me later on that i am a grant under gjo 179 then this is the question which needs to be so this is that fraud which happened with us and this fraud was enacted in the in government of india act 1915 further on in 1935 and then further unfortunately nobody worked hard for us and ambedkar ji marked us in article 246 again we were not state subject we were central subject that is the problem now how would somebody wake up from this problem is a question mark you know if i calculate the areas now if we speak on the areas which we can so what is the land which is with us this is what we need to see na the total land holding of the army in india is 17.3 lakh acres military stations and lands outside i'm talking of the cantonments is 15.3 lakh acres within these 57 plus 5 cantonment is 2 lakh acres which works out to be 11.56% outside the land is 88.44% now out of this 11.56 let's further divide a land which is army occupation b land which is in civil population c land which is with the cantonment boards land holding with army within this 11 point or 2 lakh acres is 1.3 lakh acres which makes it to from this land total holding which comes 2 lakh is 65% land holding in b1 b2 b3 b4 is 0.7 lakh acres that is 35% of the total land holding cantonment boards hold 1.1 uh, 1.44% so what is the whole gimmick and fight is even if we go down to b3 now very precisely i calculated with all my data of the 57 cantonment we are just 26.25% of the land holding out of 2 lakh acres and if we calculated from 17.3 lakh acres we are not even 3.03% so the whole dispute fight is for this 3% of land holding just imagine we are the ones who are holding these properties we are the ones who are paying taxes we are the ones who are renovating these bungalows we are the ones which we are you know if we calculate past 100 years what is the revenue we paid to the government on in the form of house tax from 1880 in 1880 i bet there was not even a uh, 
there was not even a Copernicus lane or a Safdarjung lane or a uh, Tughlaqabad road road in Delhi where these prime properties were there. Connaught place was not existing then. But my bungalow was existing then. Agra, there was a bungalow in 1880. Barakpur, Sikandrabad, Bombay, Pune, name it and we were existing. So, the government has to just think of 3%. Historical facts, Ministry of Defense, I just told in my video earlier, but here I'll detail. I don't want to get into the nitty gritties what the DG staff does. I don't want to even get to know what the parliamentary committees or these board committees like what SK Boss did in 2016. They are all an eyewash. Till associations locally registered are not made subjective parties to these committees. It's an eyewash. It's something like an accused is verifying an accused that how much accused is he? We don't need these eye washers. 16, uh, 3, 1957, Balwantra Agreement talks of 59 cantonments. He talks of local self government to be given to the cantonments. Deals with the resumptions of OGBs and CANT. Civil area accession, he says, do it. House tax taxation should not be done because we are the highest house. House tax payers in India. Our calculation of house tax, what we call the STR or the AVR values is the highest. We, he says, don't do it. Do it as per the civil municipality. He says, convert OGB bungalows into freehold. Association of each cantonment to be brought on board of the cantonment committee. Just see, it's so important. He says, make rape act applicable 1952, now we come up with SK Patil Committee, 1958. He simply says, abolish these cantonments. Who would hurt to him? Let's dig out the debate in 1958. Now coming to SK Bose, which was hyped. You know, this new association and people from Sikandrabad or Kanpur. What a SK Bose, SK Bose Committee. It is going to give wonders to us. Let us give a representation. They went and met Murli Manor Joshi and I know what all they did. Bungalow area, two, uh, uh, OGBs are what he said, 2,955 with a total land holding of 6,178 acres out of the total 11,513 acres which is there. Civil area population, he says 46,000 some amount. And old grants within that area is about 13,059 acres. Leasehold properties, he said, are 4,386. Outside civil area, there are about 1,600 leases, which works out to be 5,335 acres of land. How many OGBs have been subdivided is 760. Mutation pending for 300 OGBs. OGBs want to convert into freehold policy. 270 applications and leases of 108 are pending. Resumptions of 583 bungalows have been taken. And 92 pending cases in 2016. No timeline of compensation to these resumed OGBs is there. Construction or repair of OGBs is not granted by the Commander-in-Chief. So these are the grey areas which he highlights. What does the local association do? Does he call them? I don't think so. Because I remember when I happened to meet through a bungalow owner in Kasali, everything was an eyewash for him. He was not even aware of these acts and also many things which I talked. Now, there was a question in 2010, question number 209. What was it said? Let's disband this entire system of DG and let's shift this department to a different department. Why? Because the defense audit section says there has been no audit of land since 1992. 
GLRs and MLRs have been conditionally torn and they have not been upgraded by any authority or officer since 1959. Natural justice of compensation to OGBs which are being resumed are not being ordered. So this is becoming a, you know, a major cause of court cases. The present government is trying to resolve the 2016 committee report. What is it doing? I have not seen it. 2016 to 24, nine, 8 years. Wake up. People who used to call me up in 2016, 17. Na? Mr. Das. So there is nothing. Civil area, we will send them out. You OGBs will convert you but pay us 10 to 20 times of the STR. So what are we doing? These are all contrary. B3 definition as I already said has been changed. The biggest surprise in 2021 came to me when there was a letter which said let's amend the GGO 179 of 1836. After 180 years guys, this government is, I don't know, at the back of religion, what are we doing? We don't want masjids and gurdwaras and mandirs and everything everywhere. We just want a proper place to live. Present laws, it said that, what does the GGO's present law say? Second, land belongs to government, land cannot be sold by grantee. Uh, transfer of house between military officers. The ground being in every case the property and houses or the other within situated. Uh, may be transferred from one military officer medical to another without restriction, except in the case of relief, when if required, the terms of the sales or transfer are to be adjusted by a committee of arbitration. So the lower part has been removed. The ground being in every case, property of government cannot be sold by grant. Chal, the story ends. <laughs> Third, arbitration clause. Entire removed if the ground has been built upon the building or not to be transferred to any person. Coming to the other point, fourth, transfer to native. When it is proposed, this is what the earlier, provided that building are situated in an area other than civil area, the previous consent of the officer commanding the station for security point of view should have been obtained. So now no sales without an NOC. Provided that if the building are situated in a civil area, the same may be transferred with the previous consent of the cantonment board. Two segregation. Composition of arbitration committee which was earlier with us. The new says the committee will be composed of a collector or a DC. And so on, 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 it keeps going on. The similar way, but a little. Now, a, another subject has been added called powers to make rules. What is this? The government may either generally or specifically or any containment or group of containments after previous publication make rules consistent with the following regulations. Regulations are what? Resumptions of land, application for disposal of building, assessment of value of authorized building, procedure for uh, arbitration, any other in respect to matters in mind. So there will be laws, rules. So every time you will have a rule in place, then you move with that. There will be no policies now. If there is no rule, wait baby, I will think over, let the mandir be made and then we will think about it. So the Contonement Act 2006 now is also being amended as uh, a letter given. Now what is happening? What are the main, major crux? The strength of members is being brought to equivalency with the army and the nominated and civil members. AVR values are being changed. How will their calculation be in uh, done? House and property tax will change exorbitantly. Building permission and conversion is being again subjected back to the commander in chief. So now no board will pass a plan, it will go to the Commander-in-Chief. Now coming to CLA rules which people were very happy has changed to 2021. 
government has changed the definition of b3 category 3 lands have been removed from where where it says no land within the cant uh, is private uh, uh, on a presumption glr will be maintained on a digital platform no land records or hard copies lease money will be on str 10 years and subject to change of lease money every one year or five years in case of merger the independency of meo do as government of india to cantonment board and local authority intervention is removed section 29 yes there was a bungalow owner in agra you know he has an habit of fingering me a lot amount of high fee waked up 29a this government is going to convert us into freehold i am waiting for that day when his bungalow will be assessed for freehold and he'll have to pay through his nose government has made a policy for freehold where is that policy it is in a binds so what the bungalow owners and the residents want from the government have they actually realized abhi recently i heard somebody told me ki in varanasi which is now the prime minister's uh, territory there was a huge and cry and the poor lady there co she finally agreed that i'll give you the 80 what will you do i'll give you an ak47 i'll i'll park a tank at your place do you know how to operate it 2011 mr das had shared me an 1899 document of his property so people have their documents what do you want to make them public for what we really need is from 1864 to 1924 all sales were done by the cantonment magistrate they should be brought on records under section 10 that is what we need second what the most important you want our bungalow you want our property to be resumed go back to the army go back to the system understand it simply if not we will educate you read the quarter master journal circular on number 5 of 1905 reacquisition of government of sites granted with any building erected on such site the commander in chief is advised that buildings erected with the presumption permission of the government on government lands can be compulsorily acquired under the land acquisition act in taking action cantonment committee must be able to prove buildings concerned that the land is the property of government is anything left the declaration under section 6 of the act should state the land is needed for public purpose and not the house only and what does the resumption policy says it can be taken for a house for a mess guys wake up i keep telling people so any proposal accepted in the amendment is actually going to kill us we will land up nowhere bungalow owners i am requesting please for god's sake get in touch with me share your property papers Do you know somebody just questioned me, Rani ji, you made a Janam Patri, but we feel we've got no benefit from it. Now benefits don't flow from Janam Patris. After the Janam Patri, which you make for your son, daughter, or when you get your two children get married, the Janam Patri means your records will speak what they are speaking. I guide you to the various sections from where you can dig into your records. you have to prepare yourself through that janam patri the ammunition to fight tomorrow i can't give you these laws i can't make a plaint for you and sit down on it if you want to get a plaint made watch my videos ask your legal cells watch them and make notes of them and then move ahead otherwise you don't expect me to do all this for you ha huh, you want to go one by one a case issue your ass is on fire you're on a rocket permission then i am ready to come forward and then we'll talk of lease money cases everybody is getting then we'll talk of all that okay so again i am saying we are old grants never converted into new grants thank you good day